Okay, so right now on this day, it is our second anniversary as a YouTube channel. This day marks the day two years ago that we launched Explanations, and I'm so happy we're here. So how do we treat ourselves on this very special occasion? Well, I didn't know at first, so I asked Twitter, and this is what I got back. I'm not going to put a sock on the door right now and masturbate for this video, but your clever ideas did waken a part of my soul that was like, you are how we celebrate. You are what we're celebrating. So for the next, as long as this ends up being, I'm going to spend our anniversary answering your questions. <coughs> my partner likes when I'm on top. Do you have any tips? I just don't know how to move around. Okay, you may not know how to use pelvic thrusting muscles, but you know how to use your mouth ones. Use them. Ask your partner to hold your hips and guide you. Ask your partner to describe what they like. You did say that your partner likes it when you're on top, so you must be doing something right. How do you make yourself feel better when you're feeling down? I watch Vlogbrothers when I'm feeling down. I also watch them when I'm feeling up. I have no interest in oral sex whatsoever. Not receiving, not giving. I just don't want anything to do with it. There's nothing wrong with me, right? Right. The EU has decided that homosexuals cannot donate blood due to higher risk of STI transmission during intercourse than heterosexuals. Is that higher risk true or is it just homophobia? Orientation is not a risk for sexually transmitted infections. Behavior is. Orientation does not transmit herpes. Making out does. Anal sex is a higher risk behavior than VP, vaginal penile sex, for the transmission of HIV. But get this, more heterosexuals practice anal sex than homosexuals do. So yes, like blood donation laws here in the States, this is homophobic. A man who likes men but has never had sex with them being more at risk than a man who likes women and has had sex with them is illogical and frustratingly sad for the people who need the blood. I recently performed oral sex on my biosex female girlfriend. Other than washing my face and brushing my teeth afterwards, is there anything else I should do to be hygienic? This is amazing. You're amazing. Any other advice? Let's put it in the comments. What is frosted cake? Frosted cake is semen spread on part of someone's body, usually the face or buttocks. Frosting the cake is the act of ejaculating there, then spreading it around like a penis spatula. Frosting a cupcake is when a woman masturbates or someone goes down on her. Celebratory cupcake! Can flavored condoms give you a yeast infection? Do you know if they have any sugar on them or something like that? Flavored condoms can lead to yeast infections. Many, many things can, like what you eat, what you wear, your hormones, your partner's genitals, and not because these things have sugar in them or on them, but because they can throw off the pH of the vagina. Is there a sexuality that is a gray area between asexual and sexual that isn't demi? Is there one that is more like, is not usually sexually attracted to others, but is occasionally? I love when there's an answer. Gray A, gray ace, grace, hyposexual, semisexual, sexual-ish, asexual-ish. These aren't my terms, the asexual community names itself, and with our language, you have the same power to come up with the terms for your sexuality, but gray A. Do all biosex males have night emissions if they don't masturbate? No, I've found that all is a rare statement in biology. I am a young homosexual male. I have a five inch penis, which many men have found lacking. I know it is average, but others don't think so. I know size shouldn't matter to me. It doesn't, but it is really starting to hurt me and my self-esteem. What should I do? Spend time helping others. Volunteer at a hospital, humane society, youth center, senior citizen center, queer club. Get out of your head and into the experiences of others. Put your woes into perspective and let your penis be a symbol of generosity. Where is the line between having positive sexuality, confidence, liberated expression, and being a good role model within society? There is no line. Having a positive sexuality with confidence and liberal yet respectful expression is being a good role model. Stay curious. We have shirts. If you're one of our Let's Get Physical patron sex planats, you'll be getting one soon in your care package. Otherwise, you can order them here at DFTBA.com. Do all biosex males have weird hands? <laughs> <What>? <laughs>